Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing my February morning basket with you and you'll notice a few things have changed from the my traditional morning basket videos in an effort to kind of realign with our reasoning for homeschooling and doing morning basket and fixing our schedule and things that I've noticed over the winter break and things I've been talking about here on my channel. I have pieced together a few different things in our morning basket and kind of gotten rid of some things that I felt actually took away from the feast of beautiful ideas that I really wanted to present in our morning basket. So this is probably my favorite morning basket to date and it makes me very, very excited. They're all things that I really desire to be doing with my kids. So the first thing in our morning basket this month is the snowy day, which if you are familiar with five in a row or before five in a row, this is a before five in a row title. And we also have Katie in the big snow, which is a five in a row title. At the end of this video, I'll share a little bit about our new morning basket schedule and I'll explain how we fit five in a row in our morning basket, but I'm really excited about this. And so this month we'll be kind of combining some five in a row with some before five in a row. I keep the manuals in here for some quick reference. Um, sometimes you need supplies and sometimes you just need discussions. So I have those both in here to reference anytime that we are just doing a discussion. Next we have Story of the World, which you guys see every month. This is one of my favorite curriculums. It's our history curriculum. It's the only one we've ever used. So we just read the stories as part of our morning basket and then we get together with friends once a week to do the projects. I always have a little game or something in our morning basket. So this month I have Math Dice Junior. The kids have been loving this. We kind of play it a little differently. Um, with each kid instead of doing it as a group game, which I know um, you're supposed to throw the dice in the middle and everybody kind of grabs at them, but I just go around the table and do it individually with my kids. So Eli and I will do some addition and then Jesse and I will do some addition, subtraction, some light multiplication, and then Isabella and I will actually go head to head and do it the way that you're supposed to play it. I usually have more games and fun activities and activity books in our morning basket, but Again, I'll be doing a video very soon here explaining our new morning routine. I feel like we are in the best school flow we've been in for a very long time. And Morning Basket right now starts at 8, where we are doing some warm-ups and games around 7, 7.30 in our homeschool, so I don't need as many games and activities in our Morning Basket. So when I was first introduced to the Charlotte Mason method and ideas, something that really struck me was doing an artist study. And over time that's grown into doing a poet study and a composer study. And so this semester we are focusing on one artist, one poet, and one composer. And so I put this little book together with the biographies of each of them and um, the different pieces we'll be studying by the composer. I've got um, the poem we'll be memorizing and after the kids have this memorized, then we will be adding another one. So each morning we'll read a little bit about one of them and their bi biography and read or listen to or look at one of their works and discuss it. Again, I will kind of share this at the end of the video, how I plan to carry this out, but this is something that I'm probably the most excited about Right now, I feel like my kids are ready to be doing this and I'm ready to be doing this confidently. That's important, I think, um, is educating yourself and not just trying to fly um, as it goes. And then I also have some paper in the back of that book where I can write down their narrations or any ideas or thoughts they might have had. They also have their own notebooks that they can do their narrations or drawings or um, share any thoughts that they have as we're listening to or looking at the pieces. So I have a child's garden of verses by Robert Louis Stevenson and then also a, the picture study portfolio which also has the biography of Van Gogh 
but um, I printed one that, that I enjoyed as well. So we'll see which one I read from, but we have options. These picture study portfolios by Simply Charlotte Mason are really high quality and I really recommend them if you are looking for one. I also have our hymn study in here. Again, this is just something that I used with my binding machine for. I will link that below. Right now we are doing It Is Well With My Soul. I did used to try to rush them and do one a month, but I've noticed that maybe two per semester is more our pace. So I'm trying to learn to kind of scale back and focus on the things that are important to us and not try to accomplish so much so quickly. I also have laying down the rails and laying down the rails for children. This semester right now we are working on the habit of order and this one has really struck me. There's a lot of stuff as I'm going through the um, teacher's guide and um, going through the children's guide that is really kind of getting me like, oh my goodness, these are things that I would really like to work on, not only in myself, but just in creating this habit for my kids to set up their futures. If you have not checked out Laying Down the Rails and you're interested in habit training, I really recommend this as well. This is by Simply Charlotte Mason, and it does such a good job of, of showing you the reasons why and not just the how of forming certain habits. I guess I forgot to stick our map drills on our clipboards before I did this video. I also have First Thousand Words in Spanish. We were doing the house last semester. Now we're going to be working on the kitchen. I will link all of these resources below. So we kind of do this game style. The kids will run around the house as I call things out. Um, same way we do map drill, they'll add a couple new things at a time and then I'll call them out and see if they know them. And then once they know them, we'll add a couple more things on. We also have state capitals if my daughter wants to learn the capitals along with the states as we're doing map drill. And then we have the 50 states book, which is what we use as we're doing US geography to explore a little bit further. We have Elementary Geography by Charlotte Mason. This is free on Ambleside Online, so I printed it and bound it. We read this about once a week. And then they have their clipboards in here, which is where I keep any loose leaf paper, any independent work that they will be doing, any busy work that we have for the day. So we have our Picture Smart Bible paper. I used to keep that in our morning basket, but my binder is just too thick, so I keep it on the side. Um, and then the kids have their yellow spot sun worksheets on here, which is something that one day a week they move into from morning basket. So I just keep it here on their clipboard. And then I also keep anything for story of the world or nature study here on their clipboard. So these aren't things that we use during morning basket, but they're things that we move into from morning basket. So it just makes the most sense for me to keep it on their clipboards here. One thing that you'll notice is missing is my morning exercises for all the year, which is a book that I love. I now keep that with our calendar because we're doing our calendar time before we do morning basket. So that's in the homeschool room. Um, and I still highly recommend that book. Um, I also have this book right now, A Man Like No Other. This was a gift from my pastor for my older kids, Bible stories that kind of go a little more in depth, but also understand the message of grace. Um, and the illustrations are absolutely amazing. So this is a great book.
I also just have a few little Valentine's Day picture books in here. I'll rotate these out. I have more than just these four actually. So after we read through all of these and we've read them a couple of times, I'll switch them out for some other Valentine's Day books. And then later in February, of course, I'll just switch in some picture books. These are mostly for Annabeth and Eli just to keep them engaged. Although I do still believe in reading picture books to your upper elementary students, your middle school students, even your high school students. So I, I don't think my kids will ever be too old for a good picture book. So the new layout of Morning Basket is not that much different than it was before, but I did decide to assign different topics, different days of the week, just so that we have a little bit of consistency um, as far as adding in our composer, our artist, and our poet. So right now, every single day, we go through a various selection of habit training, map drill and geography, Bible and hymn we do every day. We have our memory work, we listen to a piece that we're listening to that week by the composer, and we do some read alouds and picture books. But right now on Mondays, I'll be introducing a new piece by our composer and reading a little bit about our composer and biography. I don't wanna just read the whole biography all the way through. So I think a little piece by piece each week will kind of carry it through the semester and keep it interesting for the kids. Tuesdays, I will introduce a new picture by our artist and we will do a little bit about our artist biography. Wednesday, I'll introduce a new poem or two and we um, will study a little bit more about our poet, which is Robert Louis Stevenson this semester. Um, by the way, our artist is Van Gogh and our composer is Chopin. Thursdays, we will do Story of the World, which we have been doing on Thursdays. Sometimes we'll do this on Tuesday as well, depending on how long the chapters are. And then Fridays, we do a fun Friday in our homeschool. So for Morning Basket, we will just be doing five in a row and the activities that go along with five in a row. My kids love five in a row. I love five in a row. It is where our homeschool roots began. And so I will always try to do some five in a row. So that's kind of how the flow of our Morning Basket uh, should work if everything goes according to plan but as you all know no two days really are the same so that's my plan that's our um, that's kind of our outline and we deviate from that often but that's where the intention kind of begins um, if you liked this video give it a thumbs up I will do this again next month I do this every single month but I am just so excited about presenting this to you because I feel like this is just the heart of um, what I have always wanted Morning Basket to look like, and I'm very pleased with it, and I hope that it encourages you and inspires you. I hope that when I share things like this, it never makes you feel like you have to do more than you're already doing. As you can see, I've kind of struggled through this semester to find our rhythm, and I feel like we have really just found ours. So I'm very excited about this, and I hope that you guys are too. I will see you guys soon. Bye.